to get us underway here. It's prime time for Sebastiani. Thank you very much, Pete. Umpire holds the ball aloft, and we are underway. First game of the season for both the Bombers and the Bulldogs. And Davies splits the eye of a needle straight over the goal umpire's hat. And she gets her third of the day, and the Bombers go to 15-8-98. The Bulldogs are yet to score. McCutter goes up the line, looking for Colbinville. Here comes McCarthy! One does not simply run away from Chatty Cathy. And Kate McCarthy, with a run-down tackle, gets the resulting free kick. And the siren goes! And after 891 days, the Pies have suffered a loss. Going down to the Southern Saints. Gun for Darabin, just left it behind. Casey with the numbers. Here's Kirkwood. Quick kick onto the boot. Looking for Dowler. Just didn't get a great bounce. Still a chance here, though, Dowler. Great handball out to Kirkwood. Kirkwood can kick a Casey goal. Hurry to dash kick out there to Jordan. Jordan gave it off. Now on the angle from 15 metres out. Should be an easy goal, and it is. Bradford gets away from wing banks. Kicks it inside 50. Mia Radcliffe oh. had it momentarily. Couldn't quite finish oh. it off. To Cecilia McIntosh. Oh. He'll run in <laughs> and go. <laughs> and kick a goal for Essendon. Humphreys now. Centre half forward, plays on, goes towards goal, got a player in the goal square, oh, Stratton, well done. marks, plays on, kicks the hawk second from point blank range. Tried to keep it low, rising in the pack there, that might have been Fitzsimon, Chaplin in the pocket, oh look at that, fantastic finish, Maeve Chaplin. Bella Smith puts it straight through the middle, that is a gift for the Magpies. Behind in the race, but she did some excellent body work Ray. there against Honey Bun. Oh, Mia Ray Clifford sets Ray. it up! Oh. And a mark right before the siren. And guess who's got it? As the Who would sing, Fru are you, Fru Fru, Fru Fru. Out into the pocket she goes, can the Borough find a mark? Not quite. Now here's Harley. Gave the handball to Wilson from deep in the pocket. Bouncing ball, oh. goal! <laughs> Elizabeth Wilson with a crucial snag for the Borough against the run of play. Davies there for the Bombers. Biden Webb Webster for the Seagull. She overruns it. Clallan has to jump over her Bombers opponent. Fru's got the ball. She's oh. nearly taken to ground. She can straighten up. Can she find McIntosh on the side? Oh, Will this one go through? Dupac way off the ground. Has kicked a goal. There you go. The soccer skills came out very, very handily there. And that's all so important for Darabin. Collingwood go back inside 50 of those, Jacques. Barnett, oh, look out, out the back. Xander's kicked the goal. At long last, she's been the one that Port Melbourne have struggled with in this second quarter. And she couldn't miss from there. Mifsud going up the contest versus Milford. Sharp had to get round one. Gave it across to Hammonds. Has she got it? She has. And she comes. She'll be kicking from 52 metres out. She's got some breeze here. Eloise Ashley Cooper. The breeze picked up. The ball's going to fall short. And we've got a draw. And it's a draw. Collingwood to try and figure out something. Oh, they might have a sniff here. Ball's about 55 out. Here is Hale. Over the top. Camilleri. Kick towards goal. Oh, it's off. Oh, it's offside. Gonna fall off. Oh. behind. You're gonna fall off that seat, man. Then four eight thirty two Collingwood. Carlton a five five thirty five. I think they might just that survive, and they do. It towards the teeth of goal. Rudin, will she leave it from a cave? A tried to go off the ground, and in the end, McAloon has socketed it through. Karras needed a kind bounce, got it. Um, Karras steamrolling into an open goal. How about the demon tall timber? Carbone on the left, it's an open goal square. Will find its way to Francisa. Drag down, it's spilt for Tamara Luke, who steamrolls in for goal number three. Flying through the air, couldn't quite hang on to the football. It hits the deck, Sophie Locks lurking nearby if needed. Not needed, No way. running on. Lucy Grokoff, oh! out of this one. That is excellent. Another goal for the bar. And an early contender for goal of the day from Lucy Grocock. Stooning for the Bombers. Goes to Mia Ray Clifford. Clifford gets off the hair pass to Tierney. Tierney from 25 metres out from goal. Nails it. And they get stuck into a pious player afterwards. It's getting a bit testy at the moment. Mia Ray Clifford dumps Alicia Newman. And here she comes Hines now. Can't pick up the full ball. It's an awkward sort of bounce. Wrapping her up is Trinity Mills. Gets it out with Lang. She can put it onto her right. She does. Over the top. 
And the Saints, they get the first of the second term. Morning knocked it away. North Melbourne under the pump. Rhodes' kick was taken by DG Akomi, and DG Akomi slots it on the run. Lisa Davey tried to get in there. Cunningham got the hand pass out. Hurry, kick to Wilkins. Oh, Wilkins no, no, looking for three. Oh, oh, she's got, it. got three and a quarter. <laughs> Chapati cuts it out. Looking for Landwehr to try and run onto the football. Ended up giving it up. Oh, she stole the football back. Landwehr. And it's touched. It's touched. It's touched. It's touched. Minus score. They were celebrating but they've just realised it's touched. It's only a point. <laughs> touched off the boots. Oh, quick call by the umpire there. Here's Drew Ryan from beyond the boundary. On its way. She has kicked. Nothing. Hawthorne play it brilliantly and we've got a draw for the third time this season. Unbelievable and the top two teams all year, Essendon and Hawthorne go right to the bell and they split the points. So nailed up. See if she has the journey from here. Kicking her, her length in her kicking is probably not her strong suit. If I was Mia Ray Clifford, I'd be staying right that's, there on the goal line. That's the big question. Yeah, she's had four disposals, 21 hit outs in this game. <laughs> and her kick to the top of the square is marked by Clifford. And she's going to run around and kick a goal. Tamara Smith started well in quarter number two. Can they do the same here in the third? Kick not the best delivery inside 50, but it's popped out to Skinner. And Skinner's done Look it again. That. Rinse and repeat. Mia Skinner, three goals and three of the best roving goals you'll see, Doc. Good kick forward there by Karras and a mark number five taken by Scott, who runs to the boundary and bombs one to the goal oh. square. That is an outstanding Paige Scott goal. Peck. On the right boot. Looks pretty good. Oh. Goal umpire didn't even move. Wow, oh. and now a Hawthorne play has been oh. put down off the board. And now they oh. all go in. Barber not happy. Here we go. Oh. Tempers starting to flare at Windy Hill, just like the good old days. Oh. It's a 50-metre penalty. Nat McDonald's kicked the goal. Grant has got DiMatteo oh, coming at no. it. Coughed it up to Benny Jackson. Jackson for Collingwood. Oh. As the goal umpire slips oh. over to indicate it's in the post. Oh. Oh. Oh, good grief. If there was ever a golden opportunity for the Pies, Beck Grant gave it to him on a silver platter. Instead, they slipped over on the floor themselves. It'll take a good mark. Clip it in from the side. Not quite. Tenney. McDonald, can she find a way through? Not quite. Barber stuck her head over the football. Handball went nowhere, really. Now it's Anthony who's pinched the handball onto the boot. They've registered one more behind the Bombers. One last little piece of pain to inflict on the Demons. Essendon in a semi-final massacre. And the red and black, that famous red and black, those iconic colours are back on grand final day. Presented really well. Fair play to them in the last few minutes. They've just been persistent in their efforts. They've just played... Um, you know, continue to have it on their terms as the final siren goes. Well, there it is. The sun sets over Northport Oval. It sets on the demon season as well. But when it rises in the morning, the Southern Saints can look forward to grand final week. Finally, this footy club that has been so close on many occasions, they're into the big game.